penis is growing, you know, it started more, more growing and growing. Did you see that? Well, when I was by 25, I was by 12 inches. I moved to USA and, and started growing too, you know, till now. And it's by 20 inches now. The average size of an erect man's penis is about five to five and a half inches. He just said that his is 20 inches long. And I guess we don't know whether that's erect or flaccid, but 20 inches. Can you show us your penis? This is what I can show you. Yeah. I don't know if I want to see this. Do you actually want to see this? Oh, so thank God he has it covered with, I don't know, bandages or different colored socks, something like that. Now I actually Googled who has the world's largest penis and the answer comes back a guy named Jonah Falcon. His penis erect is about 13 and a half inches long. This gentleman is claiming to have 20 inches, which would make Jonah Falcon look like Dr. Ricky Brown. Because as a way I feel comfortable like that, you know. So Roberto has a penis that is almost 20 inches long and he claims that it grew naturally. So there are ways to actually enlarge or lengthen your penis and I go over the different ways on the video that is linked right up here. But the vast majority of these treatments that make your penis longer are not technically natural. You can't take a pill or a food or a supplement that's gonna make your penis necessarily grow longer. So how did his get so long? Let's find out. When uh, he came here to, to do a CT scan, my first impression was that it was a unique and unusual case. So if his wiener actually fills out that big multicolored sock that's covering it, then it does look like he's almost 20 inches. Now the idea behind getting a CT scan is let's see what this penis is actually made out of. Is it truly 19 and a half, 20 inches of real penis? Well, what the CT scan showed was that there is a, a very large uh, foreskin. It goes until just above the, the knee. But the penis itself, it's just about 16 to 18 inch, uh, centimeters from the pubis. So it's, it doesn't go all the way through the foreskin. So this explains what's actually going on with his penile anatomy. His real penis is actually about six to seven inches long, which is quite long. This is definitely above average, especially being flaccid. But the other 13 inches, like literally a foot, is made of just foreskin. Foreskin is the skin that covers the end of the penis, and typically that skin is removed when a penis is circumcised. Now the average length of a foreskin is only about an inch and a half long. So the big question is, why is his foreskin so, so long? This episode is brought to you by my skincare line, Yoon Beauty. Our products combine natural and organic ingredients with the latest in scientifically proven anti-aging components like vitamin C and retinol. So if you're looking for healthy and youthful skin without the unnecessary chemicals, this is the skincare line for you. Check them out at dryunonline.com and use the coupon code 20 off to get $20 off your first order over $99. We'll put a link in the caption below. All right, back to the video. So Roberto's flaccid penis was bigger than average at six and a half to seven inches, but with hugely extended foreskin. Could this have happened naturally, as Roberto had claimed? There are actually penis stretching devices that you can buy online. They are essentially traction devices where they stretch your penis. The issue with them is that you have to wear them for something like nine hours a day, and after many, many months of wearing it, you may add half an inch to an inch if you're lucky. These devices do come with the potential risk of major problems, and so they're not something that I recommend. He told about this to his psychiatrist, that he began with this uh, enlargement uh, since he was a teenager, wrapping some bands around his penis with some weights and trying to, to stretch it, that he was uh, obsessed with, with the penis uh, length. So. Ah, now we know what's going on. So he attached weights to his penis to stretch him out. Who knows how heavy these weights were. Now the problem I think that has happened to him is that he must have attached them to the foreskin and not the actual penis. And with time, 
Skin stretches. Your skin can stretch amazing amounts. You know, you just see somebody who, let's say, loses a ton of weight and how much excess skin they have after weight loss. That is skin that stretched over time. Now, I mentioned that these traction devices can add upwards of a half an inch to an inch after using it for many, many months. How this guy added 13 inches to the foreskin length. I mean, this guy must have been wearing these traction devices all day, every day for years and years and years. I wonder if he's wearing them now. Do you feel uh, sad that you don't have a normal sex life? No, I, I don't. I don't feel no no sad because I know maybe in USA they have a lot of women, so they have the right size for me, maybe. <laughs> so the verdict is in. He truly has about a six to seven inch penis with 13 inches of foreskin. Jonah Falcon, you can keep your title of the world's longest penis in my opinion. So this guy claimed to have the world's longest penis. But well, what about a woman who has the world's largest butt? And how would it feel like to go on a blind date with her not knowing that she has the world's largest butt? Take a peek at this video right up here where I react to a hilarious blind date with the woman with the world's largest butt. And if you've been enjoying my videos, please subscribe to my channel and always remember, eat real food, use clean skincare, and only consider actual plastic surgery as a last resort.